The brush tool is at the base of all digital painting. So to make sure you're getting the most out of this simple tool, I'm gonna to show you the basic brush controls. And everything we do in this video is gonna be found in the brush palette. So go to Window, Brush. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint Store. Now, if you're drawing with a mouse, this is what it would look like. Straight lines with no variety. But because you're using a Wacom tablet, what you have to work with is pressure sensitivity. So the first question is, what do you want that pressure sensitivity to manipulate? Generally, I'll paint with brushes where the opacity is affected by the brush pressure. So here I click the transfer button and it says here opacity jitter and flow jitter. And the control for both of those is set to pen pressure. So what that means is if I do a light line, the opacity is low. The harder it is I press, the darker the opacity is. But you'll notice that the size of my brush is staying consistent. I can change the size with keyboard shortcuts, but I can't make a line go from skinny to fat. It always stays the same diameter. So if I instead wanted to have more of a dip pen look, I would turn off transfer and I would turn on shape dynamics. And here you see size jitter is set to pen pressure. And I'll lower the minimum diameter to increase the effect. So now as I go from a light mark to a heavy mark, it goes from small to large. Now this is very different. Before it was a constant diameter, but the opacity was changing. Here the opacity will stay the same no matter what I do. And all that's changing is the brush diameter. So sometimes when beginners start out, brushes just don't seem to be working correctly. Something about them just feels wrong. And if that's the case, you're probably using the wrong sort of brush. So most of the painting that I do involves opacity brushes, like this one, the hard round. So this means that shape dynamics can be off, but the transfer is on. And if you have an older version, simply look for opacity jitter and flow jitter. Now there are times where you would want both opacity and diameter controlled simultaneously by the pressure. Now this is much less useful, but can come in handy sometimes. So here's what that will look like. I have both opacity and flow jitter tied to pen pressure. And I also have size jitter tied to pen pressure. So here as I draw a stroke, you'll see it gets both smaller to larger and also lighter to darker. So this could be good if you wanted to go for a calligraphy look or maybe an ink wash look, but I find that it can be harder to control. So as a rule of thumb, I like to work with either opacity brushes or with diameter brushes, but not both. And that most of the time, the simple hard round, which is an opacity brush, is the most versatile. 